we go into the wild blue yonder, climbing high into the sun. The engine that conquered the skies in the 40s, coupled with some music from the same decade. The boys, give her the gun. Well, it was great fun. I, I had a great time. Then you'll excuse former Pratt & Whitney experimental test engineer William Lewis if he feels like he's stepped back in time. Beginning in 1941, the now 97-year-old worked on the Wasp 4360 engine. I have a good memory. I can I remember it. I remember what it sounded like. And engineers make life more beautiful than it already is. And I think we have to celebrate that. Lewis was invited to attend the ceremony at the New England Air Museum in which the R-1340 Wasp A engine was named a historical landmark by the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, or ASME. We would argue that the 1340 changed the face of aviation. Marty Ross, a United Technologies Aerospace Systems Project Engineer, helped get the WASP the landmark designation. The fact that people really are starting to understand the, the contribution that this machine has had to society. The celebration is also significant from the perspective that it was innovation that started Pratt & Whitney and it is innovation that continues to drive Pratt & Whitney. We have new products that are changing and redefining aviation history today the way they did 90 years ago with the geared turbofan, the F-135. I hope one day in the future that someone can stand here 90 years from today and that our geared fan and F-135 engines will likewise receive this prestigious award. A celebration of the past, a look to the future. Technologies change, engines change. The creative spirit of those that work at Pratt & Whitney does not. I couldn't have had a better job. <laughs>